Hi, I'm Dr. Dan Shapiro. I'm a plastic surgeon certified by the American Board of Plastic Surgery. I've been practicing in the Scottsdale Paradise Valley area since 1992, and that's all I do. I just perform cosmetic or aesthetic plastic surgery. A lot of patients come to me for breast surgery, and whether it be a breast lift with an implant or a breast reduction or specifically just a breast lift, people kind of don't understand what those different terms mean. You know, people come in and, and may have, you know, very, very large breasts and want to know whether they need a breast lift in conjunction with their breast reduction or will the breast reduction just do that alone? Uh, and the answer to the question is generally the breast reduction will do that alone. A breast reduction is really um, the same incisions as a breast lift if we use a T or anchor type scar. And with a breast reduction, what I'm actually doing is I'm removing extra breast tissue. Usually that's from the lateral aspect of the breast. I'm trying to keep the medial cleavage there so it looks pretty when we're done. I'm removing extra skin and breast tissue and I'm elevating that nipple back to a more youthful position and removing extra areolar tissue that may have uh, you know, come up over time. So um, a breast reduction is removing breast tissue along with a breast lift. A breast lift generally just removes the breast uh, skin and very little tissue. Um, there are some patients that have enough volume when they're done with a breast lift not to need an implant, um, but that's you know about 25% in my practice. I think that when people come in and they think they need a breast lift alone, usually they need an implant to provide some superior fullness so they look you know pretty and slightly voluptuous when they're done. So to keep these terms straight, a breast reduction is actually a breast lift with removal of breast tissue. Um, it serves the same purpose. Um, there is a chance, you know, uh, at a year or two that you may have to have some touch up of that breast reduction. The reason being is that a lot of times with uh, enlarged breasts, the skin uh, elasticity has been damaged and, and there uh, uh, just isn't that kind of great skin left. So sometimes after a year or two, uh, those, the skin will become a little bit more lax and that's usually a very easy touch up. But all in all, I, I very infrequently have to do that. So a breast reduction uh, um, is a removal of breast tissue, elevation of the nipple, uh, removal of extra areolar tissue, and actually elevation uh, uh, of the uh, breast itself, so a breast lift. Usually people that need a breast reduction do not need a breast lift in conjunction. It's both of those things. Uh, so the best way to find out if you're a candidate for a breast reduction, to try to understand what that, that uh, surgery is, to understand what the scars are afterwards, and understand the postoperative course, come in for a consultation. Bring him in some photographs from Victoria's Secret to show me what, would you, what you'd like to end up with. Uh, so we come up with a plan and I know exactly how much tissue to remove to give you the result that you've been dreaming about. Thank you.